The process to transfer Dynamic Designer motion loads into a Solid Edge simulation is quite simple. We start by creating a Solid Edge static study that involves the parts for which we're going to transfer the loads. In this example, we've defined this part as the active part for our simulation. Then we can return to Dynamic Designer where we already have a motion model read, ready to simulate. Before we do this, we need to tell Dynamic Designer onto which faces to apply the loads that will be experienced by that part. For example, there will be forces generated at this joint here as well as this joint here. We'll simply tell Dynamic Designer onto which faces to put those loads. Those will be the same faces that the loads get applied to in the Solid Edge simulation. To apply the load bearing faces, we can simply locate the joints for that part. The first is the spherical link. We can go into the properties and we can select the FEA tab and we can choose the specific face onto which to place, on which to place those loads. We'll do the same thing for the remaining joint here. So now we've successfully defined the load bearing faces for that link. Now we'll simply run a simulation and then we'll use the various dynamic designer post-processing tools to determine at which point we'd like to transfer the loads. One of the easiest ways to do that is simply to add result objects, in this case reaction forces, for the part of interest. So when we add the reaction forces for a particular body it shows us graphics of each of the constraints attached to that part and any loads that are generated. In this case we have a yellow bending moment and we have two reaction forces represented by the cyan colored arrows. These vectors will change orientation and direction as we advance the model through its simulation. Not only do we have a visual of the directions of these loads but we can also create plots to determine at which points those loads are maximum. We can see in this case that they don't share the exact same condition for the worst case loading. However, there may be different points in here at which the member is in tension or bending or compression. Currently, the loads are generated and exported for one, sim for one simulation frame. Once we find the loads, or the load case which we wish to transfer the loads for, we can simply scroll down to the bottom of the Dynamic Designer browser, click on the plus sign next to Static Study, right click on the active part that's in our study and choose Add Loads. When we do this we get red arrow representations on the faces which we defined as load bearing faces in Dynamic Designer. So if we re now return to our Solid Edge simulation we'll see that these loads have been applied to that part. 